Hello, young people, and welcome to this very special program. Today, we shall learn about something very special: energy. So, what is energy? Energy is the ability to do work. Without energy, your body wouldn't grow, your car wouldn't move, even the lights in your house or school wouldn't work. We need energy for everything we do in life, and we need lots of it. So, where does energy come from? Energy is all around us. In the light we see, in the ground we walk on. It's even within us. In the food we eat, that strengthens us. There are three types of energy: renewable energy, non-renewable energy, and nuclear energy. Energy that can be generated over and over again is called renewable energy. Let us now look at some of the various forms of renewable energy generation in India. Solar energy. Solar energy is the most readily available source of energy. It is also the most non-polluting source of energy. India, being a tropical country with long days and plenty of sunshine, is one of the largest producers of solar energy in the world. That is utilized for a number of applications. Hydel energy, energy in the flowing water, can be used to produce electricity. India is a country surrounded by the Arabian Sea. the indian ocean and the bay of bengal it also has a vast network of rivers lakes and other water bodies three forms of energy can be generated from these water bodies ocean thermal energy which transforms the heat in the ocean water into electricity tidal energy which uses the movement of ocean tides to generate electricity and wave energy that results from the interaction of wind and sea wind energy is the energy associated with the movement of atmospheric air wind energy systems convert this energy to more useful forms of power india is a large country with vast areas of plains in certain areas wind farms featuring hundreds of wind turbines harness this energy of the wind the strike of the blowing wind on specially designed blades of a windmill's rotor causes both to rotate generating power which is stored in batteries for further use geothermal energy thermal energy is energy that is locked within the earth especially in volcanically active regions this energy can be extracted to run the turbines to generate power there are seven main geothermal regions in india which contain a total of about 400 thermal springs the first is the major son narmada tapi that is sonata rift zone the other is the barren island in andaman islands which has the only active volcano in the indian subcontinent There are two main advantages of renewable energy. These are readily available sources of energy that are abundant and free. They are cleaner and better for our environment. We now move on to non-renewable energy sources. This form of energy is called non-renewable because it comes from materials found on our planet that shall one day surely run out. Non-renewable resources are also called fossil fuels as they are formed over a hundred million years ago when dinosaurs roamed the earth. There are three forms of fossil fuel: oil, a thick black gooey liquid also called petroleum, is found deep within the ground, usually between layers of rock. To get the oil out, A well is dug and the oil is pumped out. A refinery then changes this crude oil into products like petrol, jet fuel, diesel fuel and other products. Natural gas is lighter than air. It is made of methane, 
which is a simple chemical compound of carbon and hydrogen atoms. This gas is highly inflammable. This gas rises towards the Earth's surface and builds up in pockets as its progress is blocked by solid rocks. It is also found near oil wells. It is pumped from wells that tap into the source and send it to large pipelines. CNG, that is compressed natural gas, is used as fuel for vehicles and households as cooking gas. Coal denotes a large range of solid fossil fuel. It comes in different forms. Coal is used to run trains, generate electricity and for fire in villages. So, how do fossil fuels work? Heat obtained by burning fossil fuel is used to convert water into steam, which rotates the turbines to generate electricity. These stations are called thermal power stations. Since fossil fuels are readily available in India, they have become a very popular source of energy. However, since they are a limited resource, they are sure to run out at some point. Moreover, fossil fuels are polluting to the environment and are the main cause of health problems in humans, global warming and the destruction of the Earth's protective ozone layer in the atmosphere. The last form of energy is nuclear energy. Nuclear energy is the energy that comes from splitting atoms of radioactive materials such as uranium and thorium. Uranium occurs naturally in many parts of the world in rocks and sand deposits. This can be mined on the surface or underground in the same way as coal or oil sands. Nuclear energy, however, has to be generated under very, very strict supervision and conditions because any leakage of nuclear radiation can affect the lives of millions of people. Energy helps make our lives fun because it does many things like running the TV on which you can watch your favorite programs or the fridge which chills your favorite ice creams. But energy isn't free. So it is important that we work hard to save energy and use it wisely. Remember, the lesser energy we use, the healthier we make our planet and ourselves. So, how can we save energy? Just follow these simple things. Always keep the fridge door shut. Open curtains and windows for sunlight and breeze. Switch off TVs, computers, fans, lights from the main switch. Don't play in the lift in your building. Use CFL bulbs in your home. Don't keep the tap running when brushing your teeth. Recycle paper, plastic and glass. Plant more trees. Go green. Become a young energy saver and say yes to saving energy and our beautiful planet. Talk to your family and friends about saying yes to conserving energy. So remember my young friends, it is a beautiful world. So study well and enjoy playing outside. Become healthy and smart, but above all, become a young energy saver and say yes.